Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCC ICT past paper question. This is the 2020 paper. This is paper one, the theory paper. And we're now up to question five. Question five. Deshan buys a music CD in a store. Deshan pays with a card using NFC, near field communication. That's contactless. NFC is contactless. Explain why NFC speeds up the payment process. So if you're not sure what NFC is and you didn't know that in the exam, you wouldn't be able to get that right, but you probably use contactless or we've seen people use contactless payment. It is everywhere. But explain why NFC speeds up the payment process. Because uh, you don't need to enter a PIN, you can just simply tap your card and make the payment. So NFC speeds up the payment process because it's a card. A card is simply tapped to make a payment. A PIN does not need to be entered. Scroll down, the CD comes with access to a music streaming service. Describe how streaming works. So music streaming service will be examples uh, where you listen to music online. So how does music streaming work? Well, part of the file is downloaded in temporary storage to play immediately. This is played straight away, while the rest of the file is also downloaded for playing. C. Now we're looking at bandwidth. Describe how the amount of bandwidth available affects Deshan's experience of streaming. So the amount of bandwidth is, is how fast my internet connection is going to be, basically. And my bandwidth is affected by other people using devices on the same network as me. And the more devices there are on the same network as me, the slower, the lower, the lower my bandwidth is going to be. Here's my answer. The amount of bandwidth available affects Deshan's experience. As the lower the bandwidth available, the slower the internet connectivity. As there are more devices using the network, which will decrease speeds. This means the music will buffer. D. The payment system uses an open source operating system. State what is meant by the term open source. There's two types of software, open source and proprietary. Open source is where we can see the code, we can change the code. It's usually free software that anyone can change and edit and make their own. So examples would be uh, Linux, which is open source, and Windows, Mac OS X, which is proprietary. So my answer is that open source software is free for the users to modify and change as they want. Two, describe two functions of an operating system. So what does Mac OS X and Windows, what do they actually do? So they provide memory management and they also provide the user interface as what you're looking at as well. You could also have they provide print spooling, resource management, hardware management, etc. There's loads of things that the operating system does. E, online hackers are a threat to Deshan's data. There's two other threats to Deshan's data. Viruses are a threat to Deshan's data. Ransomware is a threat to Deshan's data as well. You could also have viruses, accidental deletion, fires, etc. Question F, the last question. Evaluate the tools that are available to help individuals stay safe online. This is an eight mark question. And I've done videos on eight mark questions. The best advice is you need to have a plan and you need to have a conclusion. And the amount of students that is work I've marked, so we look at the level levels here, level six to eight marks, level three, the amount of students whose work I've marked and they haven't had a conclusion. And I've not been able to give them any more than sort of three, maybe generously, maybe four marks. Because it's quite clear here that um, if we look at this, the evaluation will have reviewed evidence and provided a conclusion. To get the six to eight marks, which is what you want for this exam, you want six to eight marks for this question. You need to write a conclusion. You need to have a plan. You need to think about what you're going to write before you actually put it on the exam paper. So what you need is a conclusion and you need a scrap piece of paper to make some notes. So I cannot emphasize this highly enough. Say it over and over again. My best advice for eight mark questions, and it's going to be one in your exam, guaranteed, is that you need a plan. So I've made this plan here. I'll just move this across. What I've done is in the middle of the page, I've written down tools to help users stay safe online. So I'm going to unpack this. And you can see I've started in the red box here. I've started to list all the tools I can think of that help users stay safe online. So I've got antivirus, privacy settings, encryption. Okay. And I've written down just my own understanding, my definition of what those things are. So how, how can users, what are the tools we've got to help users stay safe online? We're not thinking about things like um, strong passwords. 
we're thinking of actual tools here. So we're thinking of privacy settings, for example. Okay, so setting your account to be private rather than a public account. That's a tool you can use. You can specify who can and cannot see your posts. Is it friends? Is it friends of friends, etc.? Antivirus software goes without saying you should have antivirus software on your computer. And encryption. So that's as grabbing of data. So it cannot be read if it was intercepted. That's another tool I've got. Then I'm just going to move this down. You can see I've started to evaluate the features, which is part of the question. And the first feature I've evaluated is antivirus. So that is the first tool that I've evaluated there. And I've kind of evaluated, I've said a little bit how that works. But I've also said that um, unless it's updated regularly, it's not going to be much use. So it must be updated regularly for it to be useful. Otherwise, it's not going to pick up the latest viruses. And latest viruses come out all the time. It's not going to be able to pick them up and quarantine them. Then, just to move this across, I've looked at privacy settings. Said why they're important. Lock down public profiles. Protect users' data. Keep them safe from harm or exploitation. And then we've looked at encryption. And I've talked about the VPN, which creates a tunnel around the data. Encrypting the data. I've talked about the VPN and evaluated how that is useful. A VPN cannot be used in all countries, however, as it's not legal. So it isn't legal to use a VPN in all countries. Okay, so that's my evaluation of that tool. So only then, when I've planned it out, can I start to put together a response. And the first part of my answer, so now I would take out the exam paper and I would start writing. Only now would I start writing. And you can see I've started to put together my evaluation there with the antivirus, literally taking what's in my plan and writing it up neatly. Privacy settings, encryption, and then providing the conclusion. You must do this to get into Mark Band 2. So you must have a conclusion for eight mark questions. It's very, very clear. You've got to have a conclusion. Do not limit yourself. You write an excellent answer. Do not limit yourself by not having a conclusion. Please write a conclusion. It's really, really important. So there, I've just kind of in conclusion. There are many tools to help the user online. However, they should be regularly updated to keep them useful. They should be used to ensure they give maximum benefit. So it's saying update those tools, use them. Otherwise, there's no point. And there's my full answer there. Okay, I'll give you a moment to look at that. This is my full answer. This is what I'd, I'd write down to give me eight marks. And you can see it's quite a lot of writing. Yes, it's typed and probably if I wrote that in my handwriting, it would probably easily fill maybe probably a couple of sides of A4. You are given at least a side of A4 to write your response. That is there for a reason. The number of students I've seen written just a paragraph. There's no way you could get eight marks from just a paragraph. There's no way you've done enough. If you're given a side of A4 for writing, you should use a side of A4, okay? You should fill it. You're given that for a reason. You should fill that space. I'm not saying writing for the sake of it, but a, a correct answer that is going to get six to eight marks, mark band three. It's going to fill a side of A4 easily. And go back to level descriptors. AO3 evaluates here. Okay. Viewed evidence, provided conclusion. Yeah. Appropriate range of evidence identified and used. What does that mean? Well, I've talked about at least three methods there to stay safe online, two, three tools. Evidence we used to come to a judgment. Yes, I've done, come to a judgment. Conclusion given. Yes, I've done that. Link to comparisons made. Once we show good focus and organization, that's where the plan comes in. So me having done a plan rather than just writing down whatever comes into my head onto the exam paper has ticked that box there. So again, this is so many times I've said this. For an eight mark question, you need a plan. You need to plan it out. Okay. It's the only way to get eight marks and you have to have a conclusion. So that completes question five and that completes the whole paper. I just want to say a big thank you for watching. Please, please, please like and subscribe. Please spread the word um, to get the word out there. These videos exist to get more people watching them. Please, I really, really appreciate that. As always, your comments are really welcome. Please let me know what you think and say a big thank you for watching. Bye bye.